My name is Maria Isabel Fleury. Hi, I'm Joanne. I'm Asha King. My name is Ron Churchill. My name is Robin Mitchell. Hi, my name is Laura Christensen. My name is Laurel Bess. My name is Jimmy Christensen. Hi, I'm John. Hi, my name is Sky. Oh, thank you. Yes. Well, I'm doing some acrylic paintings, a little color pop. My name is Dan. Hi, I'm Emily. This is my father's and this is my daughter. We need to exhibit this. And the first place I thought of was Oakville Art in the Park. I had a park so far away because uh, today is Art in the Park in Bronte in Oakville and uh, obviously first year back since the pandemic. So uh, basically the entire town of Oakville is here. So I had a park about 10 kilometers away down that way and I'm walking to Art in the Park. If you guys don't know what Art in the Park is, it's basically a uh, place where people display their art in a park so it's pretty self-explanatory but uh, really the goal of this video is to maybe talk to local artists vendors and maybe get their take on what they love about this event because uh, you know you got to support local artists okay we're finally slowly slowly getting there My name is Maria Isabel Fleury. I am. Um, this is my first time in Northern the Park. I'm very excited. I am here from Oakville. I am originally from Venezuela, and I moved uh, to Canada uh, eight years ago. And I was really blown away with the changing of the seasons. In Venezuela, it's a Latin country, and we only have a dry season and a rainy season. So I was really blown away with the power of nature to evolve and. That has been a constant in all my work that I paint the seasons over and over. And nature is simply so powerful, so beautiful, and you can get anything from nature. Hi, I'm Joanne. I do pencil portraits. Excellent. And I first discovered Oakville Art in the Park because I am a resident of Oakville. Um, I've lived here since 1991, and um, I knew about this. Uh, back in September, my son-in-law's golden retriever over here, Gunner, oh, Gunner passed love away. Name. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's okay. And anyway, his birthday was in February, and I went to Ryerson for fashion many moons ago, and I went and I uh, had done portraits at that time on the side. But then life got in the way, family, etc. And in February, I, it was Chris's birthday, so I said to my daughter, would Chris like a portrait of Gunner? Mm. So after 30 plus years, I attempted to do this portrait. When I did it, all of the kids in my family ganged up on me and said, you need to exhibit this. And the first place I thought of was Oakville Art in the Park. Because this is a very um, highly respected yeah. place mm -hmm. uh, for showcasing artwork so these are all done with lead pencil oh. and they take uh, about four hours I'm taking commissions for them excellent and uh, it takes two weeks and three photos okay and I'm getting great reception here uh, Oakville has a lot of people with pets so that absolutely. helps a lot absolutely and uh, art in the park uh, attracts a, a great number of people yeah. so I think this was a good choice. Hi I'm Emily. Yeah and what do you do? I am a still life painter. Yeah. <laughs> this is my third ever show Excellent. and um, I'm 22 and I've just been painting full-time for about a year now. Excellent <laughs> and I love the still life here right? <laughs> correct? Excellent. Yes. Thank you. I love it and people can find you here at Emily Valentine Fine Arts. Thank you so yeah. much. I'm Asha King at Oakville Art in the Park. Uh, it's a fantastic day to show some art. I'm so happy with the turnout today. It's been uh, sunny and warm and wonderful. So I'm gonna talk about, I'll talk about these ones right Love here. Uh, so these are Life Astounding. So actually the premise of these, they kind of go with some Mondrian colors, okay. which are like the reds, the yellows, and the blues, and then my favorite color ever, turquoise. Turquoise is your favorite color? Yep, you okay. can see in a ton. Is actually, there a reason for that? It's just so vibrant and it's so, it's like an in-your-face color, but it's also calming. It's yeah. a weird mixture of, of the two. I get it. But I love using them in all of my work, pretty much, minus this one right here. But I love vibrancy. I like the idea of linear movement and basically what I want to express in my work is 
the feeling that you got when you were a kid, when right. things didn't need to have meaning, where where everything was just fun and exciting and playful yeah. and joyful, yeah. and that's that's what I try to capture with my work. My name is Ron Churchill. I'm a first-time artist at uh, Art in the Park Oakville. Um, selection of my paintings here. I, I, I have a wide variety of subject matter that I like painting. Uh, I love animals. I love um, objects, as you can see. My career is actually graphic design, so um, and I did illustration in college, so you'll see a lot of that in my artwork. Where I like to paint uh, logos and stuff like that, and okay. type in my in my paintings. Um, is there like a favorite piece that you've done here that uh, really yeah, stands up for you? My monarch, my monarch butterfly is one of my favorites, to okay. be honest. Yeah. Um, and that's got some uh, significance because when we were kids, my family, uh, my parents used to, uh, we collect monarch uh, caterpillars when we were kids right off the milkweed plants and bring them in the house and, and have yeah. them go into the chrysalis and hatch. So uh, okay. we started doing that with our kids as well. So um, that's Excellent, got man. some significance there. But I love, probably my true love is really drawing and painting animals. Um, yeah. Well, most of my work is acrylic paint. I've done some, these are watercolor here. Okay. And then I also do uh, pen and ink drawings, which are more on the outside there. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. How long have you been painting and drawing for? My whole life. Your entire uh, life. Yeah, my heart. My Since you were a kid. Life, since I was a kid. Wow. I actually started when I was, a, the earliest memory is grade two, so seven years old. Wow, man. That's when I started. And then I went to college, went to Sheridan College. Yeah. In uh, the late 80s. Yeah. Uh, graduated, worked for, and then worked in the graphic design uh, business, uh, like career, my whole career. I love it when people turn their passions into like making money. Yeah, just, I, I love it. It's I love it. And I know and it's funny because you'll say if you do what you love, it's not work. But I mean, yeah, it's, it's still, still work. It still works. It still works. Especially still on this work. side, it's like yeah, if it you still works. You know, it's if you could just draw and paint all the time and let somebody yeah. else take care of the business side, it'd be Absolutely. different. But that business side is work for sure. Absolutely. So. Hi, my name is Robin Mitchell. I'm an artist here at uh, Oakville's Art in the Park this year. Um, I'm part of the Oakville Art Society and I've been teaching there for seven or eight years and I've been exhibiting here at Art the Park for just over ten years so it's really nice to be back Absolutely. and uh, exhibiting here again. Absolutely. So, and do you, you have like a piece of work that stands out for you personally? So I, my favorite type of work is sort of these figurative type pieces where okay. the figures are not highly detailed or you know recognizable but yet we can you know, yeah. relate to them in some way yeah. um, and the activities and what they look like. Excellent. Hello, my name is Laura Kostanciello. I'm here at Art in the Park Oakville and it's a beautiful sunny day. Um, it's so nice to be back. I haven't been here since 2019 yeah. and it's so nice to see all the friendly faces and, and people enjoying the art again. Yeah. Um, I create fluid art, so wow. you can see some of my work behind me. So, so if you're cool. not familiar with uh, fluid art, it's acrylic paint that's been diluted. Okay. And you can dilute it with lots of different things, Okay. but I just dilute it with water. How so. long does it take you to do this on average? Like base, I guess, I, mean, yeah, I don't know. Oh, it so completely depends. <laughs> yeah. Depends on the project size and... Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I actually spend a lot of time just mixing paint. Yeah. So I have my paint mixing Mondays where I pretty much spend the whole day mixing paint cool. for my painting for the rest of the week. Yeah. My name's Laurel Best and this is my Wild Thing collection. I specialize in watercolor. And uh, I was inspired by Yellowstone, for example. But I, I love painting animals. It's one of my joys. Mm. And it, I'm so happy to be back at Art in the Park. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's been three years since this show happened. And I'm really happy yeah, to be I'm back. Yeah, I'm just saying off camera, it's good, it's good just to talk to people in real person and, touch, and talk about the art. Instead yeah. of over Zoom or whatever, right? It's good to talk about the art in person. Absolutely, you know? yeah. It's so. a, a great, you know, I, I've kept in touch with people online and it's it's great for them to be able to see my art in yeah. person, which they haven't been able to do. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. so doing like what, like wildlife is like your favorite type? What, wildlife is my favorite okay. thing to do. Uh, birds, animals, uh, but I also enjoy flowers. Uh, this Excellent. is my acrylic piece. This is the biggest piece I ever created. and. During the pandemic, uh, I had this canvas sitting downstairs for five years. And yeah. I decided, okay, this is a good time to do Yeah. It. And there goes my phone. <laughs> Two seconds, and we'll keep going with that. And yeah. So, yeah, so th this is my Zen succulent garden, and uh, I tend to kill flowers, so I like to paint them that yeah. way I can keep them alive. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, this is my largest piece, five feet by three feet. And uh, yeah, so Excellent. I brought. 
a lot of new work because I've been busy over the past three years. So that guy right there. That's Ron, who I know from the Oklahoma Society. He's actually uh, made the connections for all the people I've spoken to because he's actually working at this event. So shout out to Ron for hooking me up with all the vendors because uh, it just sort of breaks the ice uh, easier, really. So shout out to Ron. Thanks, Ron. I have Margo here. What do you do here, Margo? What do you well, do? I'm doing some acrylic paintings, a little yeah. color pops and a little okay. landscape. A lot of landscapes, and, and sometimes you just want a little tiny bit of color, just yeah, a little, little tiny spot, a little splash, yeah, a little, little splash. pop, yeah. uh, and that's what I'm doing for these. A lot of the inspiration is from landscapes. Okay. Um, I grew up in the country, um, and sometimes I just like to sit in the meadow. And some of these are sort of inspired by meadows, and the way that the yes. moon shifts, or the way that the sun mm. shifts overnight and during the day as you're looking up and there's all the little gla uh, grasses yeah. and this as well sort of like meadows or people and it's just so very it's called joyous wow. so it's very joyful to me it's on canvas yes it's on canvas okay. it's all sealed and there's some pencil crayon i love mark making as well okay. and this one is a little moon flow and um and again about how the moon just sort of goes across i'm just fascinated by by mm. the atmosphere um, yeah so and so yeah and i and i've I love these colors and yeah, uh, very I try to present cool. these colors. Yeah. So kind of gets you in a good mood when you see it. It's so colorful I know. and just cheerful, right? Yeah. I just saw two faces that were little happy thoughts. <laughs> yeah. So I love it. Sometimes people just need a little little happiness in their life. I love so it. I'm there to provide that. How long how long you you been you've been doing this for your whole life? I've been doing yeah, and um, I'm a retired um, educator, uh, okay. Brock University, um, University of Toronto, Hamilton Mount Logistics School Board, and now yeah. I'm teaching my own classes and mentoring called Brushes oh. Up. And where do you teach that? I teach that online. Oh, like just you? Just you teach me. It? I oh, just okay. Teach you just teach it. So, yeah, oh, okay. I do any mentoring, and I'm doing some classes at the Dundas Valley School of Art too in oh, Dundas. Right. And uh, so I still like doing the teaching, but I'm doing a lot of gallery shows and a lot of tent shows this okay. season. So it's been really. It's fun. good for it to be all, all back in person, talk to people about art in person, so oh, over Zoom, it's right? So good. And the colors are just so much more vibrant yeah. in life. I mean, sure, totally. online they're great, but. Nothing in beats person. in person. That's true. Hey! Uh, hey, my name is uh, Judy Fessier. Uh, I'm an artist. Yeah, paint. You're an artist? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I paint, and uh, as you can see, these are my features. Uh, Excellent. And I've been working on how to break up the lines into dot strokes. Okay. I've been with lines before. Okay. And I'm so excited to be here at this. Uh, I had lots of uh, patronage, yeah. lots of people, lots of traffic coming to see my work. Yeah, man. I mean, your I mean, your work is so good. I was just talking about this, so the Toronto much. skyline here. This really caught my eye, man. So like, this is my Toronto. The way I see Toronto, you can yeah. see Toronto heated up. You know. So how did you do this? Did you go to this? Did, so did you like? Do you do this from a photograph? Like, how do you do these? Yeah, normally I I live in Toronto, so I have an idea how it looks like. So uh, it was an abstract imagination of uh, my okay. own Toronto. Ah, this is how you see Toronto skyline. I see Toronto. Oh, I get and you. And I decided to put in my signature, my strokes and dots in yeah. there. You know? Excellent, man. Yeah, and lots of people love it. I love it. It's so unique, man. It's yeah. so unique. And even these ones here too, right? Like. Yes, I, I do portraits too. You do portraits. And I embellish it with uh, my strokes. Yeah. Know, uh, and the dots too. How long you how long you been doing this for? Oh. Your whole life? Been doing all my life. Since you were a kid? Yeah, like ten years old. Oh. You know, uh, I I I did a bit of uh, you know some three D stuff. So I love to uh, have my work move. Yeah. So the dots help me a lot. To yeah. Have it moving. I love it, man. And uh, I want to invite everyone to your. <laughs> channel yeah please <laughs> to, uh, have a look at the good work you're doing. it's all about supporting the local artists right especially yeah. since covid obviously it's good for it to be back and i think i'm just saying to, to someone else that it's good to talk to people about art in person versus like, versus zoom mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. what i mean it's a different vibe Life, it's right? a different vibe when you talk to someone about art in person it's a totally different vibe man honestly it's a totally different vibe that uh, you get i i believe in talking to people like yeah i'm like old school right <laughs> So we're at Monica's booth at uh, Art Gallery Orly. And Monica, what is your work laminated on? Oh, thank you, yes. 
they're laminated, laminated on birch board. Okay. And it is Arches watercolor paper that I laminate on, and some have a an acrylic finish on them. Excellent. And then I have other ones here that, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's a it's a high gloss resin. Yeah. And what's the difference between each? Like just the process, just the process, process the final process okay. on how the presentation is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just curious, like why leaves? Uh, <laughs> just curious. I just I love the colors. I think that there's such a Canadian thing to paint. Yeah. yeah. So is fall like your best time? Uh, absolutely. Hands, hands <laughs> down, my favorite season. Yeah, okay. absolutely. I was going to say, and like, do you like go around Oakville to get like inspiration or I take lots of pictures I, I actually yeah. do landscape paintings as well as okay. florals mm -hmm. so this is just a portion but yeah every year you will see me actually picking leaves and putting them yeah, down yeah. and taking photos so cool as reference yeah that's so Thank cool you. and go for it I am John Etheridge a portrait painter uh, first time at the show which uh, I've really enjoyed and the weather's been good yeah the people have been great uh, so as you can see, I paint portraits on wood, which okay. I've been doing for about the last eight or nine years. Okay. And um, do commissions. Um, I don't is know it is it is it harder on wood to do these? Like, is no, it, I like it more on wood. Is uh, it easier to do it on wood? I find it a little easier just because I like to work on a solid surface, and I okay. love the. Um, texture in the background, the wood grain, I always think adds a visual right. interest to the piece. Yeah. So, Do you have a certain actor or actress that you've done so far for you personally? Uh, personal, well, all these are kind of are personal, yeah. like Bill Murray, I've done right. several of, uh, Brian Cranston as yeah. Eisenberg, uh, Willem Dafoe, yeah. Jim Carrey. Um, Very cool. It's all yeah. good celebrities and musicians. So okay. People I find who have interesting faces. Okay, go for it. Okay. Hi, my name is Sky. I'm here at Oakville Art in the Park. It's my first time here, so we're having a great day so far. Weather is great, no rain. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed it holds yeah. out. So, as you can see, this is my artwork. Um, they're all oil on canvas. Yeah. And uh, a lot of vivid colors uh, that's created by um, a lot of layers of paint to get those nice, rich reds and blues. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you'll see um, a figure in red in the majority of my artwork. Yeah. So she's a symbol of humanity, of people. Um, she's versatile. I can put her in any scene uh, and, it, and it doesn't look out of place. She doesn't look out of place. Right. And um, yeah, and she really just sort of represents like the calm, introspective, reflective moments that we actually find ourselves not maybe getting enough of. I just love how artists are still working even during their uh, <laughs> event. So I have Jing Fu, is that correct? Jing Fu? Is that yes, how you're saying yes, it? Jing Fu? Yes. And she's still painting. You're still painting this one? Uh, yes. Never okay. finished. <laughs> never finished. It's never not done. Um, and you're based in Oakville? I'm uh, from Toronto New Market. Okay. And this is your first exhibit? Yes. Three, third time. Okay. <laughs> third time here? Yeah. Okay. So it's good, it's good for it to be back, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and and so you you do like landscape, you do landscape kind of work, like what yeah, kind? Yeah, I do most of the time the landscape. I do, did like a show exhibiting my work yeah. for twenty years. Twenty years, eh? Yeah, I'm not so old. <laughs> and this is all on canvas. Ah, uh, yes, oh, all on okay. canvas. And where do you get like your like ideas from, or your like your like inspiration from? Actually, I I was uh, come from a city Shanghai. Okay. China. Okay. The place with a huge population and yeah. uh, lack of the green land. Yeah. So nature to me is very precious. Mm. It's kind of freedom to me. Right. So I love since I come here, I love to go to the nature, take lots of photos, and I guess get some inspiration. Yeah, yeah. So. It's really cool work. Home. Very cool work here. This is so unique. I got fire and fiber here. Hi. Daniel? My name is Dan. That's Dan? That's? Carly. Carly. And you guys do what exactly? Uh, so I work with natural materials like silk and cotton and I use the flowers from my garden and the weeds underneath our feet okay. um, to dye the silk that you see hanging around. Cool. Uh, and I also work on a floor loom and um, weave materials and make my own accessories from those. Excellent. Excellent. And Daniel just told me how they do all these. 
Yeah, so I'm a glass blower, um, yeah. specifically lamp work. Um, so I make beads and pendants and uh, take different techniques and kind of smorgasbord them together. So okay. I'm kind of the fire portion of this. Cool, um, so cool. I do fuming techniques, implosions, sculpting, um, even some blow molds there that you see, um, and just have fun with it in my yeah. spare time. And they all turn into these guys, eh? Yeah. All Super of them. cool, man. And are they light or are they heavy? Oh, okay. yeah, they're, they're not heavy, yeah. but they're not light. Yeah. yeah. How long does it take you to do? Um, so each one, depending on the complexity, yeah. like the blow mold ones probably take closer to like half hour per. Okay. Um, the more intricate ones can take from an hour to an hour and a half to do. Okay. Yeah. These are super cool too. Yeah. Wow. How long you, you guys been doing this for? So I've been doing it about eight years uh, in terms of glass blowing on yeah. and off. Um, and Interesting. She's probably about 10 years yeah. over Solid. of just doing fiber arts. Yeah. And where do you guys do the actual work? Like, do you guys have a studio at home to at do? Home. You yeah, guys have your private own? private studios. She took wow. over the house, I took over the garage. <laughs> oh, that's super cool. <laughs> That's yeah. I have Adam here, yes. and I really like your work. So this is your father's work, right? This is my father's, and this is my mom's. And work. that's your mother. Okay, that's excellent. Mine. Yeah, I really just like. It's really cool, man. Like the whole. Thank you very much. Yeah, it gets on canvas, right? Yeah, so it's okay. all, all done. Most of it is done on canvas. There's a couple of things that are on like paper, and uh, yeah, a lot of what we do is either floral or, or more urban artwork. Um, Always in Toronto. So not always in Toronto, yeah. but there are some pieces like one on the outside that is uh, yeah. a New York piece, but a lot of what we have here today is yeah. Toronto. The work that your dad like really likes for himself personally that you can speak of? So something new that yeah. he's been trying is more of an abstract approach to like the streets of Toronto, which are which is like this blue one behind these Over people. here? Uh, okay. This one right here. That one over there? Okay. Yeah. We, we can't see it right yeah. now, but uh, it's been an interesting journey like trying to capture like the motion and like the yeah. energy of the city and, no it's cool man yeah, a lot of people really enjoy the uh detailedness and very yeah. exact yeah um, design of yeah the, it the must pieces. take your dad a long time to do these things right yeah it does does yeah. take quite a lot of time and patience and effort a lot of the times there's a lot of layers because Something's not just quite yeah. right. You got to work on it. Your mother paints, right? Yes, she paints these okay. florals here. And your mother paints the florals. Yeah. Okay. This is actually it looks like watercolor, but it's an original acrylic on canvas. Cool, man. And uh, yeah. So you guys always come here every year, besides COVID, obviously. Yeah, we yeah. try to at least. Um, hopefully, we'll be here next year. Yeah. Do you paint too yourself? Um, I do paint sometimes, mostly uh, for school and all that kind of stuff. I do enjoy okay. it though. But yeah. Cool. Do you want to say anything? Quick word about your work? I just got into yeah. School of Architecture with an exceptional project. So oh, jeez. Uh, okay. I have to pay for that. So. Oh, okay. Where, where, what school are you going to? I'm going to Toronto Metropolitan. Nice, man. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You guys are all artists in the family. Yeah, even my sister is a video videographer, yeah? photographer right in Toronto. Yeah, okay. She's doing fashion. Wow, you guys are... Yeah. You guys are crushing it. Genetics. Yeah. Genetics, <laughs> so, yeah. Your niche? Uh, lately, yeah, for many years now, yes. I used to paint still life. Yeah. There's uh, like slightly like different style, but now this is my cool. newer style. Well, guys, uh, I think the ultimate sign to end this video is when your cart is full. So shout out to Ron for hooking me up with, I think, over 15 interviews. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't been to Art in the Park, uh, maybe this will make you want to come visit next year in 2023. Because artists have to support other artists. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, you, you took away something from it. And my cart's going to be full in about 10 seconds. So uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.